five. It is still the talk of the town. Where were you when a tornado was visible for miles in West Omaha yesterday afternoon? Just about everybody has a story. Today, the National Weather Service confirmed two tornadoes within 15 minutes of each other. The first near 132nd in Blondo that we showed you right here on KMTV during severe weather coverage. Reporter Joe Kadat has details. I saw the clouds go up right here, right by the side of the house, and that's when we took off to go downstairs. Deb Sampson says she watched the tornado lift just outside their bedroom window. And all of a sudden, there was like an implosion. Yeah, they were Everything going up. Everything just sucked up, and we started to hear a freight train noise. <laughs> And so that's when we decided we better get down in the basement. Although Steve Sampson says they didn't feel in danger, the quick moving storm caught them by surprise. It was fast and furious. It probably only took, what? Only a few minutes. Probably. Yeah, a minute maybe. The tornado we're talking about, the one everyone's talking about, was 50 yards at times and was on the ground four minutes on 132nd from south of Blondo past Maple. A few blocks from the Sampsons, fences torn apart, trees down and debris scattered in yards. A cleanup effort underway by neighbors and landscapers. Kevin Reddick owns Husker Tree and Landscaping and says he's always prepared for phone calls when weather turns south. It didn't stay down long enough uh, to do as much damage as it could have done. So that was truly a blessing there. Reddick and his crew arrived here this morning where two large tree limbs were broken and scattered in front of this house. It, depending on which way the wind was blowing, it could have fell towards the back patio deck on top of the house. You know, or it could even, uh, the whole tree could have came down and hit these power boxes down here, and it could have been some serious damage there. Joe Kadat reporting a second much smaller tornado touched down about 10 minutes after that, just before 4. That one was at 146th and Ida in far northwest Omaha. Also, surveyors continue to measure a third tornado that touched down in Stanton, Iowa, and did some damage. The siren.